everyone, this is your five minute call. Five minute call to the top of Act One. Oh, and happy opening. Too old. Disabled. Box tick? Uh uh. Lose 20. Quota. Too old. Disabled. Box tick. And now, a uh, stellar six percent. Lose twenty. Their rendition of the cell block Quota. tango. Too old. Disabled. Box tick. Uh uh. Lose twenty. Quota. Too old. Disabled. Box tick. Uh-uh. Lose twenty. Quota. We've had it coming. We've had it coming. The chance to thrill you and amaze. Now that we've seen it. You really mean it? Or are we just a passing phase? Too old. Disabled. Box uh-uh. tick. Lose 20. Quota. Too old. Disabled. Box uh-uh. tick. Lose 20. Quota. I was 32 when I had my first kid. At the time, that was pretty young for a gal in the biz. But what can I say? I wanted a family. So here I am, back in the race in my 60s, and still kicking. Literally. I still got a fan kick on both sides. The trouble is, the industry only sees people like me as two things, young and hot, or old and not. But it ain't that black and white. There's a whole lot of gray. Not on my head, of course. Genetics. And sure, some things aren't what they used to be. So would it kill them to send sides that aren't in a microscopic font? I guess what I'm trying to say is, if art's supposed to imitate life, shouldn't it actually do that? Cause baby, this is life. I've had it coming, I've had it coming I got a fire you can't deny Now that you've met me, don't you forget me Cause there is more than what meets the eye In 2019, I left theater school as the only person I know in a wheelchair to graduate from a performing arts program. But hey, I've always had a knack for being number one. Since grad, I've had a decent run. You booked it, became three of my favorite words. But, spoil alert, the parts always seem to revolve around my chair. Why can't I just be a hero? Lover, father, brother, hell. How about a gay James Bond? I've had it coming, I've had it coming. Come on and open up your mind. Yeah, you can change it. Just rearrange it. We're the fertile divine. There are three things in life you can't avoid: death, taxes, and other people's expectations of who and what you should be. Yeah, being a black man has its challenges. Yes, I've been pulled over, frisked, searched, and detained for no good reason. Tossing gay and Trinidadian and life gets real interesting. But that's not what defines me. I, we are so much more than our traumas. Our stories are rich, layered, and complex. So now that black is in and we matter, when do we get to tell those stories? Something that continues to surprise people is that regardless of how hard I try, I'm actually not capable of speaking for every Asian person who ever lived. Uh Uh-uh. You see, when you're the only POC in the cast, it can be a lot of pressure to represent an entire race. Look, we need to keep having these conversations. We need to push that needle forward, but honestly, I sure can't wait for the day I'm seen for what I really am. An artist. Hey, can I ask you something? Are you done with that? Uh -uh. Uh-uh. Anyone who's grown up in a small town knows there's a danger of coming down with a case of big fish, small pond. Listen, obviously it's important for people to prepare music theater kids for the harsh realities of the showbiz world. But there's a fine line between keeping it real and keeping us down. This lesson became painfully clear when someone I looked up to my whole life said, Hey kid, want to play your dream role? You just got to drop 20 pounds.
The worst part is, comments like these are well-intended. But when people say things like, Wow, you look amazing. Did you lose weight? It just confirms that the before wasn't good enough. So for all you teachers, directors, hell, citizens of the world, be impeccable with your word. Because things you say might, will have a lasting impact. Oh, and to that bulldozer who told me to drop 20 pounds? Musical theater already has a Mama Rose. We're good. I've had it coming. She's had it coming. I've had it coming. She's had it coming. To finally feel to finally this feel is, enough. is enough. Let's hear you shout Let's it. Hear you I was pretty pumped when I got an offer to work for an exciting and inclusive theater company. Being newly out as non-binary, I figured there'd be the odd bump along the way. But to find myself in rehearsal having to give a Gender 101 lesson to a room of cis actors was disappointing, to say the least. Now, I know everyone's trying to figure all of this out, including me. But you gotta meet me halfway here. Take the time to educate yourselves. Because honestly, trailblazing can be exhausting. Sometimes you just want the trail to be a paved fucking road. Just hear that drum, 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 drum. Yes, hear that drum, 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 drum. We've had it come, 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 we've had it come along. Now that you hear us, don't disappear us. How's about a gay James Bond? Rich, layered, complex. The only POC. We already got him on a road. Paved fucking road. Too old. Disable. Box tick. Uh uh. Lose 20. Quota. George Alavizos? Okay, um, Lizzie? Uh, yeah. Hi, I'm Lizzie. 